Hello and welcome to this episode of Packet Tracer. In this episode, we want to talk about and have an introduction about the environments in here in the physical workspace. So basically, all of the containers that we have in the physical workspace, they have an environment. And there is a default environment variable such as temperature, rain, water level, wind speed, and snow. And all of the containers that we have in the physical workspace, they do have these default environment variables. Let me show you how it is. As you can see here, if I come to the environment and if I go to the view, then you will be able to see that Intercity has its own environment variables, including gravity, light, temperature, and all these other environments. And the same way we have the same environments for home city, for corporate office, and as such for all of the containers or generic containers that we might create on our own, they will also have their environment. Let's go back to the Intercity once again. And when there is no device affecting the environment the values are looped on a 24 hour cycles that means that for example the sun will come up at 6 a.m and it will sit down at 6 p.m the ambient temperature of the day will peak at uh, 25 degrees of celsius at noon and this cycle is set on the intercity level and its ambient temperature rate will propagate all the way down to the other uh, all the way down to the main wiring closet automatically. Now we have another scenario. For example, if a heater is added to the corporate office and it's turned on, the temperature inside the corporate office will increase along with the, with the other containers that are inside corporate office, such as main wiring closet and such. And however, you should note that the heater does not have does not heat up the parent container. This is natural. Of course, when we heat up our home, it does not heat up the, the whole city. And this is exactly how it is. So once you bring changes in one of the environment variables of a container, it does not really affect the parent containers. However, when the heater is turned off, the corporate office will eventually converge to the parent's container, that means to the city's container, containers ambient temperature home city uh, based on the transference value transference value so we have the transference values that determine the rate that the child container converges with the parent container and it works the same way for all environment types and all of the different containers that we have they have some level of insulation and thus some level some uh, some value of transference value so transference value is applicable for all of the containers in the physical workspace. Let me show you a little bit uh, about uh, transference value here in the environment. If we go to edit and if we go to advanced and now if we go to again to the very advanced advanced settings. Let me show as you can see here if you have this uh, advanced settings turned on then you will you will be able to see that all of these different variables they have their transference value and as I said before the transference value determines the rate that the child container converges with the parent container and the last thing that we want to talk about is that many devices or things affect or respond to the environment in some way or another for example, a fire sprinkler will raise the water level and humidity in a container. An old car might increase various gases and ambient temperature when it's turned on. A smoke detector can be used to trigger an alarm when the smoke in the environment increases to a certain point. So there is a full range of devices and things that respond and affect the environment. And and that's it for this episode everyone i hope you've got a good understanding of how environment is and how it works and in the coming episodes we will go into more details of environment stay tuned in this episode we want to talk about the environment dialog window and basically you can open the environment dialog window from here in the logical workspace and also in the physical workspace 
it's the same place you can open it from here this is the environments dialog window the first thing that we have in the environments dialog window is the location basically we can browse to two different locations that we have in the physical workspace the different containers that we have the default ones are these ones the intercity home city corporate office and the main wiring closet and we have the ability to browse to each one of them and to be able to view all of the environment variables for that container the next thing that we have is the current time this is a time that is different from the time that's running in the network simulation mode it is uh, decoupled from the network simulation mode this time this time runs uh, about 30 times faster the network simulation mode and this is of course a modeling limitation because it will put a lot of computational load on the computer so that's why this time is a bit more faster much more faster than than the network simulation time the next thing that we have is the environment values tree this is a tree that we can browse through and we can see different types of environment variables that we have available for us to monitor and see and if i click on any of these environment variables uh, i will be able to see a chart but before that maybe we can use this search functionality as well let's use it for temperature and if i search as you can see I have the ambient temperature available to me that's an easier way to find wherever chart that you want to, va to view now let's reset this search and go to ambient temperature I have clicked on the ambient temperature now as you can see there's a chart for me this is the name of the the variable that I'm trying to va to see the chart for this a this is a time range so i have a time range of about one minute one hour six hours or one day and also this is a time range for me uh, so that i can browse the time manually a bit more granular uh, with the browsing in here and we have a series of values that are that are shown on this chart we have the current the keyframe values the transparent things at uh, the transference rate and the things rate the current refers to the current environment value and the transparent rate transference rate is the rate of the change contribution to the current environment the keyframe value is the keyframe contribution to the current environment and the things rate is the total rate of change to the current environment from things that affect the environment and the workspace container so if we are not in the intercity the parent is the current value of the parent container so for home city it's intercity corporate office it will be home city and last but not least if i try to and if I click on always on top, then this window will always stay on top, no matter whatever I do here in Packet Tracer, this window will not disappear. That's it for this episode, everyone. I hope this has been informative for you, and I would like to see you in the next episodes where we go into more details of environment. Stay tuned. hello and welcome to this episode of packet racer in this episode we want to talk about the environment dialog window and the edit mode let's go to the environment dialog window here i am in the environment dialog window let me resize it so you can see everything properly now this is the edit mode if I go to the edit mode, the two main theme that we have in here is the time scale, the simulation time scale, and the keyframe graphs. So the simulation time scale determines how fast the simulation should evaluate time. For example, if I select one second is equal to 30 minutes of simulated time, that means our environment would run 30 times faster and this is by default. I can change this of course and of course we can make it for example to make 2 minutes equivalent of 30 minutes of simulated time. The simulation time evaluates the environment based on the time scale settings and interpolates in between. So a rule of thumb is to, you, to set your time scale to the smallest value 
between keyframes. For example, if your smallest keyframe spacing is about 15 minutes, your time scale should also be one second in real time. That is equivalent to 15 minutes of simulated time. And also recall that the environment time, this environment time is different and decoupled from the network simulation time. And this is a modeling limitation because the environment time moves much faster than the network time. The next thing that we have is the keyframe graph. And keyframe graph is one of the ways to affect the environment. The graph is set to a 24-hour cycle from 0, 0 to 29, 30, 23, 29. As you can see, the time, the last minute is 23, 59. That is the last minute and the first minute is 0, 0. And this keyframe graph will continuously loop between these times. And there's a few ways to manipulate the environment keyframe graph. For example, if certain environment variables are not shown, then if I click on any of them, then those environment variables will be shown. As you can see, I added heat. Let's remove heat. Let's remove sunlight. Put some rain in here, for example. Put ozone in here. Ozone is zero. Smoke. And this is also almost zero. And as you can see, this way we can manipulate the keyframe graph. We can also add an environment keyframe. For example, around here, I want to add a keyframe. And now, as you can see, if I double click on, on part of this graph, I, I can add a keyframe and then I can move this keyframe to change the values on the keyframe graph. If I double click on the keyframe once again, it will be disappeared and it will be gone. And as we said before, the way to change the value of the keyframe is to drag it around the screen. Or we can also change the value using this box. Let's make it 60. And as you can see, the value will change to 60. If I grab one of the keyframes and I drag it to the top of the graph in here, then the higher the higher bound of the graph will change to a higher value. And this is one of the ways we can change the higher uh, value, the higher bound of the graph. Last thing we want to talk about is uh, this time snap. So the time snap by default, the time axis snaps at every 60 minutes. As you can see, I have 60 minutes in here and this is, uh, this is 12 a.m. and then this is 1 a.m. and the time snap is every 60 minutes. Now I can change this to be 30 minutes so there is more clarity on the graph. Now this way we can manipulate the time snap here on the graph based on the time snaps of 30 minutes, 60 minutes and 15 minutes. Here we have the value snap and the value snap, as you can see, the, uh, this axis is the value snap and it snaps ev for every one, one step at a time. We can make it 10 or we can make it 100. And basically, if our value is too small, then we need to fine grain and control these snaps so that the value can be shown properly on the graph. And also the same weight time snap will also make the graph more accurate or more less accurate as well. That's it for this episode, everyone. I hope this has been informative for you and I would like to see you in the next episodes where we will be talking about environments in more detail. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to this episode of Packet Tracer. In this episode, we want to talk about creating custom environments, or I would say it creating custom environment variables. So let's go and get started. First, when you are in the environment uh, dialog window, you need to go to edit and then you need to go to advanced. And down here, you have the create custom environment. Once you click the create custom environment, this other window will appear for you where you have to select the category of the environment that you want to create. You have a lot of categories including temperature, gases and many others that are available here. The environment ID is an ID what things will use to reference this environment in programming. So the use of this environment ID is mostly used 
for uh, programming the environment display name is exactly what's shown in the environment dialog for the display of this environment the metric unit is exactly the unit in metric and the imperial unit is exactly that that environment variable in imperial and of course the conversion formulas are needed to be provided as well where here the x is going to be metric value and based on that you can give the formula and here the x is going to be the imperial value and based on that you will need to provide a formula and that's it once you have provided this information you can create a, your own custom environment that's it for this episode everyone i hope this has been informative for you and i would like to see you in the next episodes stay tuned hello and welcome to this episode of packet tracer in this episode we want to talk about the things that affect and respond to the environment basically many things that we have in packet tracer iot things that are here in the end devices in home subcategory and smart subcategory and smart city subcategory industrial and also power grid and the components that we have in terms of actuators and sensors all of them they affect or respond to the environment one way or another for example if we add a heater to the city level it will not make any difference because you cannot really heat up a city with a heater but if you put it inside a building or a small room that way the building or the small room will become uh, warmer and the temperature will change of course and all of that relates to the fact that the volume of each container matters so now uh, if you want to have more information and more in-depth detail about all of the things that we have you can go to the content then you will be presented with this web page and then you can go to the environment and here in the environment at the end of the page you have all of the things that they interact react or respond or they are affected by the environment and all of the details are available here that's it for this episode everyone i hope this has been informative for you and i would like to see you in the next episode stay tuned